let's count down some numbers to know about Olympic bobsled. 10. The number of U.S. athletes to compete in both the summer and the winter games now that Lauren Williams and Lolo Jones were named to the bobsled team. Seven months with bobsled season. The whole season. Jones is a social media star, but a controversial pick. She's trying to prove she can master the bobsled as well as she's mastered Twitter. Team USA, that's how you put on your uniform. Nine, the number of pushers who joined six pilots to make up the 2014 U.S. bobsled team. Eight, the number of sleds the U.S. group will field in these Olympics. In December, those American two-man teams swept the World Cup podium for the first time ever. And that was one of seven straight World Cup events pilot Steve Holcomb won to open this season. He's one of the best drivers in the world right now. These games also mark six Olympic appearances for the Jamaican bobsled team. One of their biggest hurdles this time around, funding. They couldn't cover the 80,000 they needed for the trip. I said, Lord of mercy. What am I going to do? So fans raised enough money online to send them to the games. And then some. Five. Soldier athletes on this U.S. bobsled team. The Army's world-class athlete program lets soldiers train and compete while still holding down military careers. They've placed more than 600 soldiers on U.S. Olympic teams throughout history, including General Patton. A man whom the New York Times described as a legend. Spectacular. Swaggering. It was four weeks ago that Australia's bobsled team picked up a new sponsor, Principle 6. That's a campaign launched by nonprofits to oppose Russia's anti-LGBT law. It's named for the sixth principle of the Olympic Charter, which bars any form of discrimination. Three, top three finishes at the Daytona 500 for NASCAR's Jeff Bodine. What's that got to do with bobsledding? Well, since 1992, the retired racing great has also designed bobsleds for America's teams. And this is the sixth Olympics in a row that Bodine built America's four-man sleds. The two-person bobsled come from a new U.S. partner, BMW. They're fast, partly because they're made from the same stuff used on Indy cars. It's the first two-man bobsled redesigned for the U.S. since the early 90s. And if two men ride it to a U.S. gold in Sochi, it'll be the first time that's happened since 1936. And number one, the reigning champs ride again. Four years ago, the team known as Night Train won the first U.S. four-man gold since 1948. Two returning teammates and two new ones round out the crew for Night Train 2. Can the new team and sled keep the Americans at number one? That's the top story to watch.